Holy smokes, everyone. There is something very strange going on with banks across America right now. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the alarming new trend where I'm starting to see more and more that banks are shuttering their stores across the country, many times without even giving notice or any reasons why they're closing. So why could they be doing this, everyone? Are the banks losing profits? Are the banks preparing for a cashless system? Or could they even be preparing for possible bank runs during the next crisis? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna go over in today's video, so let's not waste any time let's get straight into it and we're talking about banks here so i gotta wear the right attire for this kind of video look at this everyone u.s banks closed record number of retail branches in 2021 and can you guess it who closed the most that's right wells fargo shutters the most ah wells fargo our best friend they just keep coming up with more and more innovative ways to do banking do you remember this everyone remember in july when wells fargo told its customers that they're going to be shuttering all their personal lines of credit well wells fargo strikes again but there's so much more going on and there's much more that this is telling us let's have a deeper look listen to this on net u.s banks shuttered 2927 branches last year according to s p global market intelligence data did you hear that everyone that is absolutely crazy 2,900 stores shut down like that. This is a very worrying trend, everyone. And also what I'm gonna be very interesting to see is right now we're in earnings season. So it's going to be interesting to see if banks profit margins are falling and maybe that's the reason why they're closing these branches. But I think it may be for another reason. And our favorite bank, Wells Fargo, was on top with a net branch closures of 267 retail locations. And our good friend here, Economic Ninja, if you're watching here from the Ninja Nation, let me know. He also did a great video on this. Uh, also, Jeremiah Babe, where they go to their local uh, banks and they're showing that it's closed as well. But of course, this is their excuse, everyone. They said they're doing this because customers are increasingly turning to digital banking as the industry consolidates. And while yes, this is true, there are still many reasons why you have to go into a bank personally. For example, me and my wife, we have a joint savings account and we have to both physically go in there to sign to take money out. So we can't do this online. And there also may be a lot of pensioners or older people that don't know how to do it online or simply don't want to, maybe they like going into the store, well, it's looking more and more likely in the future you won't be able to do this. Listen to this. The branch closures also come as banks consolidate with merger and acquisition deals in the sector, topping $77 billion in 2021, the highest level since 2006. But what you're probably wanting to know is, okay, what does this mean in simple terms and what are we heading to? Well, what this means is, everyone, we're heading closer and closer to a full-on cashless digital society. Remember money's gone from gold and silver to then paper backed by gold and silver and then to digits on a screen backed by paper when the next evolution is we're just going to have digits on a screen and no paper to back it either because during the next crisis they're not going to have enough paper or ink to print how much money they're going to need. Now also what I think this means is and what we're heading to is eventually central bank digital currencies are going to come. Now the Federal Reserve recently came out and spoke about their thoughts on a central bank digital currency. It's looking like they're still not sure when they're going to do it yet but people I'm telling you it is going to come. And also the government debt is getting out of control so they're going to have to find ways to increase their tax revenue. So like we're seeing with the new IRS laws where you have to report uh, every transaction over $600 on the digital age it'll get to the point where they'll be able to track and tax every single dollar you make and also what this will magically fix is well there won't be such things as bank runs anymore because you just simply won't be able to take out your money in the bank right now if you go and try to withdraw ten thousand dollars the banker will look at you like you're a criminal and you'll have to jump through so many hoops just to get your hard-earned money out but remember as soon as you put your money in the banks it's no longer your money it's the bank's money you are now an unsecure creditor so what i would be doing in this situation is not financial advice but i would be diversifying my banks and really, I'd be going to credit unions. I like credit unions better than banks. Uh, but if you are going to use banks, I would have them diversified. So if one bank closes, at least you can get money out of another bank. And also, it's just a good idea to have some cold, hard cash on hand because there's been many times uh, around my area when there's either been outages uh, with the banking system. And also what we saw a couple of years ago here in Australia was people couldn't use FPOS and people couldn't get their money out of the bank as well. But everyone, what do you think is behind all these banks shuttering at record levels? Let me know. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.